Hi everyone! Welcome to Texan in Tokyo, where I talk about my life in Japan. Um, first of all, if you are only clicking on this video to see my husband Ryosuke being adorable, you can just go ahead and close out because he is at work like a responsible adult. So, it's just me this time. Um, yeah, it's about the only morning I have. Oh yes, I still have not switched out my little bulbs for white light ones, which is why I'm yellow, so you can go ahead and comment on that. So in this episode, I wanted to talk about Aizen, which is a famous like dyeing technique from the Tokushima prefecture. Um, and I've not been to the Tokushima prefecture, but when Ryosuke and I were in Kobe, they had like a dummies version of Aizen dyeing, and so I was able to make this beautiful thing, it's a handkerchief, um, by like dropping colors in water and then sticking a beautiful little cloth thing into it. Look at all of these lovely colors. Yeah, that's awesome. And now Ryosuke carries this to work with him. So he thinks about me and other romantic stuff like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the video of me doing eyes and dying. It was so much fun. And then I'll explain a little bit more after. So enjoy. で、頑張れ and we saw a little kid who was dropping this water and then he created this handkerchief and it was only a thousand yen so I thought why not I would like to try that too as you might have been able to hear Ryosuke was being so nice and shouting words of encouragement while other random people were stopping and like taking our picture and uh, somebody thought that we were like an actual TV crew and he was like my producer uh, not my husband and so well the people owning the business thought it was hilarious at the end they were like oh married like I thought this was one of those like explore Japan with the foreigner shows which I guess it actually kind of is so you know points to you um, this is eyes and dying technique it's incredibly complicated historic from Tokushima prefecture I think and uh, it cannot be taught to a clueless foreigner like me in the span of like three minutes because that's all it took for the guy to explain it this was just like the dummies version for small children and tourists in Kobe uh, but very fun dummy version. Still got to make freakishly awesome scarf, handkerchief thing. And it was a fun afternoon. I hope you learned something today. Sorry there's no Ryosuke. I know he's the best part of these videos. <laughs> um, all right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time where there will be said husband. All right. Bye.